legendary folk singer Peter Yarrow of Peter, Paul and Mary was recently in town to talk about his newest music project. We had the opportunity to sit down with him as he shared some of his philosophy and magical music. Tell me why you're crying, my son. I know you're frightened like everyone. Folk it superstar Peter Yarrow burst onto the music scene as part of Peter, Paul, and Mary almost 50 years ago. The group's hit songs, including Puff the Magic Dragon, which he wrote, and If I Had a Hammer, mesmerized and helped define the 60s generation. They were the top folk band in the country, with five platinum albums and eight that went gold. Peter Yarrow continues to be adored by his long devoted fans, along with many new ones who are much younger, thanks to his mega successful children's book and CD series. I realized, look, there, I don't know any folk singers who sold a million records in recent years who are you know, close to my age. I'm 71 now. This has sold almost a million copies. Said, like, wait a second, this is a vehicle. You've this folk music that inspired people so much in the period of time, the civil rights movement, the anti-war movement. That music is still there in our hearts, but it's got really almost no place on radio and in the entertainment world. His new book. Day is Done, another song he wrote, is a children's book that also comes with a CD. And yes, he is introducing children to these songs that otherwise would never know about him, because albums these days don't sell, CDs don't sell, so he's, he's reaching out to kids in new ways and spreading that message as well. Host of WLRN Radio's folk and acoustic music, Michael Stock, has been a fan of Peter, Paul and Mary since he was 14 years old. Since their beginning, they did have a message to their music. They were anti-Vietnam War when they started. They marched on Washington singing at the Washington with uh, Martin Luther King when he gave his I Had a Dream speech. Uh, through the 70s, apartheid, anti-apartheid, and, and fighting American influence into the Central American dictatorships. And even today, I don't know if it's Peter Yarrow himself, but the three of them worked very hard on social issues. I know one of Peter Yarrow's pet projects today is with school kids and trying to prevent bullying in school. There's a songs that he, uh, he sings that tells children that they shouldn't be bullied. It's filled with hope and love. And he says, now you have to refresh my spirit. Now you take my hand, my son. Help me so that I can once again help you to make the world a better place. Tell me why you're smiling, my son, is there? Well, it started <clears throat> 10 years ago by uh, this song that I'll uh, play a little bit for you. Not the whole thing, but uh, a bit of it. I heard this song, and my daughter heard it at the Kerrville, Texas Folk Festival. She said, Dad, you've got to hear this song. I'm a little boy with glasses, the one they call a geek. Little girl who never smiles Cause I got braces on my teeth And I know how it feels To cry myself to sleep Kids begin to talk about How it is that they are, are injured By ridicule and bullying And teasing and put downs We've had kids 11 years old That have uh, you know, taken their own lives recently and because of bullying. Peter Yarrow's ever popular songs have evolved with his new books and CDs that are a hit with the children. I don't feel any uh, older. I mean, I'm physically I'm in good shape. So what is it? I feel useful. I feel I can make a contribution. If we just understand what do people want? Do they really want 20,000 square foot homes and hugely expensive cars. No, they want respect and love. I think they realize that with, with the music there comes a responsibility and, and they were given a blessing to, uh, to reach all these millions of people. And even though they sound pretty and even though 
folk music, you know, staunch folk musicians might be upset about their, their packaging and their popularity. I don't think they take advantage of that. Peter Yarrow has been very conscious uh, to put together uh, events and fundraisers and bring to awareness a lot of the social issues of the day. In the end of the Puff the Magic Dragon book, if you look at the last two pages, you see a girl. What's a girl doing in this? There's no girl in Puff. And then you look to the last page, and there's Jackie Paper grown up. And he's given Hanalee and Puff to his daughter. And then you turn the page, and there's the CD. And you say, oh, Peter is turning over his legacy to his daughter. So, we're happy that Puff the Magic Dragon is no longer lonely, you see. He's got a little girl to play with, and it's the daughter of Jackie. And innocence and caring, and ideals and faith, too, are still what we have to reach for, my friends. That's why I'm singing to you, oh. For more information about folk singer Peter Yarrow, you can check out peterpaulandmary.com. The preceding program was a production of WLRM Public Television.